One more consumer advice for today. If you are thinking about buying an F722 flight controller, my advice is to consider. And the reason is quite simple. The F722s are great little microcontrollers and when i appeared on the market a few years ago they really changed a lot Ma mainly because of the fact that they were equipped internally with the inverters on any serial port so when we were still using sbus and the smart port protocol f722s were just amazing update because you were able to connect your SBUS receiver and the smart port telemetry to basically any serial port on your flight controller. Fantastic, outstanding they were. As fast as F405s, they could do everything. Plus, you do not have to worry about the inverters, bidirectional inverters, or where you can connect your SBUS receiver or smart port telemetry. Everything wherever you want. And for the very long time, I was a huge advocate for buying F722s. However, this is no longer a case. Mainly because the only reasons for the F722s being on the market are, well, basically gone. The reasons, like I mentioned, inverters are no longer valid in the 2024. Why? SBUS and the smart port telemetry are not as popular as they used to. To be. Right now, the most popular protocol is the CRSF for the Crossfire and the Express LRS. And then you just do not have to have any inverters because you just don't. Also, any other sensors you might or devices you might connect to the flight controllers do not require inverters at all. So, why? It doesn't make sense to make this thing a lot anymore, I think. You don't need inverters because you need when we do not need inverters at all. Plus, F722s have a problem or one problem. They are running out of the flash memory. That means that if the flight controller softwares are growing with the new functions, there is less space on the flight controllers to store the new functions. And that means that you might need you might have, we might have a situation when there will be just a feature cut in the future. That's unfortunately a bummer. And considering that you can buy a 405 alternative to the F722s slightly cheaper and for the same price, if you don't need SBUS, go with a 405. You will be much happier and there is a pretty good chance you will save a buck or two. Unless, of course, you are still using SBUS and smart port telemetry. If you do, go with F722, everything will be fine. But if you don't, and I have some data, and I know that majority of you don't, go with F405. My personal prediction is that in two or three years, the new versions of the flight controller softwares will no longer be released on the F722s. I might be wrong, but that's my gut feeling.